Today I will show you how I made these LED strip clips. I need to move my furniture frequently so I don't want to use double-sided tape to stick the LED strip. The width of my LED strip is 1 cm and the width of the clip must not be more than 15 mm. First open FreeCAD, choose Part Design and create a new document, a new body and a new sketch. I will select the exact plane but later I will rotate the model in the slicer. First I will outline the clip using the polyline tool. After the outline is done I will set the dimensions. Right click to deselect the tool. Set the length of the outer side to 15 mm. The inner side will be 11 mm. I will set the thickness to 2.5 mm. Now I will set the vertical distance to 2 mm and this will center the inner side. I will constrain the top line horizontally. Select the top and the bottom lines and create an equality constraint. Finally, I will set the length to 4 mm. Create an equality constraint between the sidelines then set the distance to 2.5 mm. Select the endpoints and set the vertical distance to 8.5 mm. Now select the last two lines and create an equality constraint. Select the lower left point of the sketch and the center point. Then create a coincident constraint between these points. The sketch is fully constrained so you can close it. Now click on path and set the length to 20 mm. It should look like this. I will use small nails to attach the clips to the back of the furniture so I need to make a small hole in the center. Click to select the back face and create a new sketch. Click on the external geometry button then at the top and the left side. Right click to deselect the tool. Now draw a circle in the middle. Set the diameter of the circle to 2 mm. Now select the top left and the lower right edge of the clip and the center point of the circle then click on the symmetry button. This will put the circle in the center. Now close the sketch and click on pocket. Select True All from the drop-down menu then click on OK. The clip is ready to be printed. Click on Model then select the body and export it as a .stl file. Drag and drop the file in your slicing software. Click on Rotate and rotate the model so the flat side is towards the bed.
I will now click on clone and add some more of them so I can print them at once. And this is the final result. They are not too visible and I'm happy with how they turned out. Now have a nice day and see you next time!